friends and welcome back to Jen's Haunted Home. I have a couple of more ghost stories to share with you guys this week. I really hope that you're enjoying what I have shared with you so far. It's really been nice to be able to share it with someone. So today I want to talk about um, a woman that was seen in various different areas of our house. Um, I know I spoke with you guys in a previous video about a woman who appeared to be in her maybe mid-60s and um, she has been seen in a couple of areas of the house. Well, there is also a younger woman who has been seen throughout the house and there were a few different circumstances. So at one point in time, at many points in time actually, we have had work done on our house. This house is no joke. Um, you know, it really is a money pit when you get an old home. There is always something going wrong. Um, the simplest things become the biggest. You know, you're hanging up a picture and the wall comes down. That's like literally no joke the way it goes with an old home. <laughs> so we've had many renovations and lots of work done around here. On one particular day, there were a group of men working on our porch and I was in the kitchen, you know, just doing dishes or cooking or whatever it was that I was doing. And one of the men came into the kitchen and said, what was it that you needed? And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he said, we just saw, we thought it was you. We saw a woman standing over on the porch, you know, waiting to like ask a question or to tell us something. And then she disappeared and we just, we thought it was you. She appeared to be about your age and structure. And um, I believe they said she was wearing like a robe, like a white robe or something like that and she had come out and she just kind of was looking at what was going on and stepped away. And I don't know if they really got a good look at her because I think if they did, they would have realized that it was not me, but they did um, get a glimpse of a woman on the porch and it was a couple of people, not just one who said they, they kind of saw a woman standing off to the side. And um, yeah, so that was odd. Um, there was another situation where my son was playing in the backyard and he saw a young woman or girl um, walking through, we have like, we call it the back house. It would have been, I guess, a carriage house back then. And um, the man who purchased the house back in like the late 40s, early 50s, collected cars. He collected um, vintage cars. So it's actually where I'm at right now. I'm in the back house right now. And he kind of finished it as a garage. And this is the room that I'm currently sitting in is where he stored the cars. Um, since then we made it a, a finished room so we actually entertain back here we have our Halloween party primarily back here we have on this side of the room um, like a big screen for we can set up the projector and watch movies so um, it's really a nice extra space to have but my son did see a, a young girl walking around back here many years later my little daughter Madison said that she saw a woman through the window um, in the back house where I'm currently sitting as well. So um, we're not sure who this woman is. And as I said before, there have been a lot of deaths in this house. And um, I believe some were tragic. Um, you know, we had the situation with the older woman who fell to her death. Um, there was also a girl, I believe it was like in the late 70s, who lived here with her parents. I believe that she passed away from some type of um, a drug overdose. I don't know if it was suicide. I do not know if um, she was just taking pills or doing recreational drugs. I'm not really sure of the nature of it. I just know neighbors who actually saw it happen and they you know, actually saw um, the body being removed from the house and just the sadness of the parents and just you know the tragedy and horror and just, you know, terribleness of, of the whole scene. Um, so is that who still wanders sometimes? I, that I will never know. <laughs> but again, it's just one more story of our um, haunted home. Also, the gentleman who I became close with over the years, who has since passed, told me that he oftentimes would feel the presence of a woman in the room. He could feel somebody sitting at the foot of the bed and it was like just enough weight that it was most likely a woman just sitting there. 
And he actually had it happen to him numerous times, and I am so thankful that it's never happened to me. I do not want to be scared out of my bedroom. Um, but he did say that that was something that he often felt. There is also a lot of ghost stories about a woman in our house. And again, you know, it kind of makes me angry sometimes when stories are completely fabricated because I do do my research and I spend a lot of time trying to prove um, these stories to be true or false. And neighbors have shared stories with me that are both true and completely made up. So one of the stories was, and you know, I can't say it's completely made up. Maybe someday I will find an article or something, um, you know, true about it. But they say that there was a woman who died of childbirth in my room and apparently there was this blood stain on the white rug and when we moved in there was a white rug and there was the stain next to the bed. Um, I don't believe it was a blood stain. I don't believe the rug was a hundred years old. I, it was relatively new. It was a white rug that had a big soil on it of some nature, um, but they, the people in town say that there's a reoccurring blood stain that keeps coming up from the master bedroom floor. And I've spent many years now in the master bedroom. We've since taken out the soiled rug um, that I do not believe had a blood stain on it, but did have a stain of some nature. And um, I don't see any, you know, reoccurring blood stains. We have a ghost tour that goes through our town. They bring lanterns and they walk through the town at night and they tell ghost stories. And it's always very entertaining when I like kind of put my ear to the window and listen to some of the stories that they tell. At one point in time, I was involved in the ghost tour and I joined in on the tour itself and I was the one who gave them the stories to tell of my home. Only the stories that I knew to be true. The stories that they're telling to date are completely fabricated and that just makes me so angry because I just don't like people lying about what goes on in my home. So, <laughs> I don't know. I just thought I would share a little venting there, but I thought I'd share that with you as well. I really hope that you guys have been enjoying these stories. I, like I said, I'm having so much fun just sharing them like with everyone. I'm just really putting myself out there. Um, I'm only sharing with you things that I know firsthand myself that I've experienced, that my family's experienced, or that close friends of ours have um, seen for themselves. So it's been a lot of fun to share it with you. Please go ahead and subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. Go ahead and follow me at Jen's Happy Home on Instagram and um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And again, like I say every time, please comment down below if you have any stories to share. I love a good ghost story this time of year. Take care, guys. Bye.